Hello, I'm Tony from Bonner's Music and I'm delighted to present to you the brand new Hammond XK4 portable organ keyboard. Now in this video, I'm gonna give you just a very, very quick overview of, of how this instrument works and then I'm gonna spend some time playing it in different styles to give you a flavor of what can be achieved with this really great little keyboard. So first of all, it's an organ, okay? And that's all it does. It just makes great organ sounds. And it kind of shares a lot of the technology that you'll find in Hammond's other models. So the flagship XK5, and also the recently released uh, SK and SKX Pro instruments. Now Hammond have introduced a couple of extra little features on this which you won't find in the other instruments um, and I'll come to those in a second but first and foremost as I said it's a great tone wheel type sounding organ but it also has different organ models in it as well so you've got uh, the sound of the Vox organ, the Farfisa, the Ace and there's even a pipe organ setting in there as well. Now, there are lots of controls. It's really hands-on and I really like that. So obviously you've got your standard nine drawbars that you get with all kind of tone wheel type uh, keyboards. Um, but you'll see over here, you've got pitch bender modulation and that kind of just gives you a hint that actually this is also designed to be a really good MIDI controller as well. So if you need something uh, that to, to control maybe a soft synth um, or even taking it on the road, but you've got a sound module to produce some other sounds, brass and piano strings, that kind of thing, you can control that using the XK4. So in the center here, you'll see you've got the, your, your main display. That shows you what drawbars you've got selected, but it also shows you what each of the controllers is assigned to. Now you'll see over here on the right, you've got assign one and assign two. These are assignable knobs, and they can be assigned to one of many different functions. You've also got two assignable buttons as well. Now, um, if I just take one of the first sounds that you get when you switch the XK4 on, which is this sound. you'll hear that the assignable one controller is actually set to assign how much key click you've got. So this is with a key click on. I can just reduce that down. So there's no key click at all. So it's very easy. You don't have to go menu diving to find some of the functions that you'll want to use all the time. What I also like is you've got a master equalizer here on the right hand side. So if you want to bring the bass up a little bit or knock the treble off, you can just do that in real time whilst you're playing. So you can make the XK4 suit the environment in which you're playing. So if we just come back to the center of the control panel, you'll see there are 10 buttons, and this is where you store your own sounds and presets. Now, Hammond have preloaded the XK4 with 100 famous and classic drawbar type settings um, just to make it ready for you to play as soon as you get it out of the box. But if you wanna store your own, it's very, very simple. So let's just quickly set up an organ registration. Let's have a look, um, something like this. If I want to store that sound, I just press record, tap down, I can give it a name on the screen, press enter and enter again, 
and it's stored it into the button I've got selected. Now, if you hold down the bank button, it gives you a list of all of the sounds that are contained in the 10 buttons that you're looking at at one time. So there are 10 banks of 10 sounds and to change bank, you just hold down bank, let's choose bank four for instance, just press button four and then it tells me what's in bank four. So if I choose the, the Booker T sound, that's on button three and I get something like this. So as you can see, the XK4 is really hands-on and very, very easy to use. If you wanna go in a bit deeper, you can just press the menu button and then you can go in and you can create your own tone wheel sets. You can uh, create your own Leslie models as well. There, I haven't shown you that yet. There are various types of, of Leslie simulations in there. So if we go into the animation section across to Leslie and we've got um, custom Leslie cabinets, if you like, there are lots of different presets in there. So if I just, just change the registration to maybe just first four drawbars, take the overdrive down a little bit, and we've got something like this. So that's using the 122 Gentle Leslie uh, model, but if we use, there's a new one here called 122 Hot. Now this hasn't appeared on any other Hammond products so far, um, and it gives a different Leslie sound. So. Few more drawbars. What I also like is that pretty much any of the buttons you see, if you just hold them down, it takes you to the menu page associated with that button. And so you can get a little bit deeper into the parameters. So if I hold down the reverb button, it's taken me to the reverb page on the screen here. I can change the various types of reverb, the depth, the reverb time and, and so on. Um, if you hold down the overdrive button, it takes you straight to the uh, overdrive uh, tube amp simulator. And again, you change all the parameters to do with that. You can also split the keyboard just by hitting the split button there. You got only got one set of drawbars, but you can alter the uh, drawbar settings for the upper, the pedal and the lower just by pressing these three buttons on the left here. Um, you can bring the pedals up to the lower half of the keyboard. So that's the pedal to lower button. There's pedal sustain. Um, and you've got transpose buttons here, which are physical buttons. You don't have to go through the menu. You've also got octave shift as well. So you can take the octave up and down as well. So the XK4 also features the virtual multi-contact system that Hammond first introduced on the SK Pro and SKX Pro range of keyboards. And what that means is that um, when you press uh, the keys, you'll hear the, um, the tone generators coming in at slightly delayed intervals, just like the old vintage instruments used to do. So if I play the keys very lightly and slowly, you'll, you'll actually hear that. <laughs> Now, of course, when played in context, it just gives you more of the feeling that you would get when you were playing one of the old vintage Hammonds from the 50s and 60s. So that brings me to the end of my XK4 overview. I'm just now gonna play you some different styles of music using a drum machine as well, just to, so you can hear it in context. If you want to find out more information about the XK4 and pricing, you'll find links below this video. Now the XK4 is extremely portable and Hammond does make a dedicated padded carry bag for it. There's also um, a, a metal stand that it sits on and there is a music rest as well. It's compatible with the CU1 half moon switch and Hammond makes their own MIDI bass pedals and of course expression pedals too. So if you want to see an XK4, you can come to one of Bonner's stores. Uh, just give us a ring or email us just to check that the XK4 is available in the store that you want to come and visit. But enjoy the sound of the XK4 and I'll see you in my next keyboard demo.